Yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy Blix Action here coming to you guys with a brand new video. And in today's video, I do want to talk about a couple of things that should be added into WWE 2K24 Universe mode in order to make the mode fun again. So if you haven't already, man, make sure you boys go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel as well. Now let's get straight into the video. Now, if you didn't know, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 was the first time that we got the mode Universe Mode introduced to us. Universe Mode was fun playing up until it got to the point where 2K took over the franchise. And if you didn't know, back in 2012, THQ went bankrupt. So they basically had to auction off what was making them the most money, which was the WWE game. So Take-Two Interactive, which 2K's undertook over the WWE game's franchise. So the last time that Ukes and THQ made a WWE game was WWE 13. But if you want to be difficult in the comment section, we can just say WWE 2K14 was the last game for THQ and Ukes. But anyways, let's get back into the video. So in order for Universe Mode to work in WWE 2K24, I believe they should just go ahead and do a total rebuild on it. And when I say a total rebuild, I'm talking Talking about start from scratch and start this thing over and a good way to start over is by taking notes and looking at wwe 12 universe mode now this universe mode was fantastic so as you guys can see right here wwe 12 did introduce the new technology which was the predator technology and that made the universe mode a whole lot smoother and here's an example of wwe 12 being a whole lot smoother so as you guys can see for the first match we have triple h going one-on-one -on -one in a normal match against the miz which triple a picks of his victory cleanly and we get hit with a smart cut scene of triple a celebrating his victory so it wasn't a cut scene that didn't make sense it was a smart cut scene but then all of a sudden after that we got hit with a surprise return which was brock lesnar and if you didn't know brock lesnar was actually an unlockable in this game so in order to unlock brock lesnar you had to play universe mode but the game is so smart that it did not forget that brock lesnar attacked triple a last week that it decided to set up a match for next week of triple h going one-on-one -on -one against brock lesnar so you see how smart this game is because it doesn't end right there because we then have randy orton join ringside on commentary for the one-on-one -on -one match between triple h and brock lesnar and then we get hit with another smart cut scene ladies and gentlemen which then have randy orton hit the rko on brock lesnar which leads us into a triple threat match for next week of randy orton going up against brock lesnar who he did attack and triple a which the game did not forget again so this just goes to show that wwe 2k24 should take notes and go ahead and get some of that predator technology that we had back in wwe 12. now another thing that should be added back into universe mode is cutting promo and the reason for that being is because it allows you to set up the robberies that you want and also because it makes the most sense because the majority of wrestling today is about cutting promos but they shouldn't just add back cutting promos they should also tweak it a little bit as well and when i say tweak it a little bit i am basically talking about add little bits of more details such as if you are a champion you should be able to come out with your championship while you are cutting a promo same thing goes for mr and mrs money in the bank as well not only that but if you have a manager the manager should be the primary talker when promos are being cut so that is why for wwe 2k24 universe mode promo should be brought back now those are not the only two things that should be brought back into the universe mode for wwe 2k24 because we all know before a show come on we have intros and for some reason in wwe 2k23 they decided to take intros off i do not know why but they did decide to do that but anyways for wwe 2k24 intro should be brought back because it makes the most sense because we want the show to start off more authentic and more realistic so intro should be brought back as well and last but not least what should be brought back and added into wwe 2k24 universe mode is wwe draft matches so as you guys can see right here for example the miz is on raw and the big show is on smackdown and they will be competing against one another to see who will have the first draft pick to their show and the big show does win this match which means that smackdown will get a randomized draft draft pick as you guys can see and the draft pick is brock lesnar which means he is headed over there to smackdown because big show is on smackdown and here's another example as you guys can see cm punk is over there on raw and randy orton is over there on smackdown so the winner of this match again wins a draft pick for their brand which cm punk is on raw and wins one for raw and sheamus is randomized to raw 
So, yo, they should add this into WWE 2K24 Universe Mode because in real life, we do have GMs on the shows because over there on Raw, we have Adam Pearce being the GM. And over there on SmackDown, we have Nick Aldis as the GM. So, a brand split is a thing right now in the WWE. But anyways, it's your boy, Blix Action, keeping you guys posted with a lot of WWE 2K23 and 2K24 content as well as AEW Fire Forever. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. And I'm going to keep you guys posted once a lot of WWE 2K24 news drop but anyways signing off y'all peace